Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com and welcome to the Google Slides ebook template tutorial. Now, I gotta apologize, I'm getting over cold, so I'm sorry if I sound kind of stuffy and gross, but I really wanted to get this tutorial out to you guys because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily edit and create your very own lead magnet using the ebook template that I just emailed you. So, here's what we're gonna cover in this video. Number one, how to edit the template. Number two, how to save it as your own. Number three, how to convert it to a PDF. Number four, how to host the PDF on Google Drive so that you're not taking up valuable space on your WordPress blog. And number five, how to create a shareable link that allows you to easily share the ebook with your email list. All right, let's get started. Now, more than likely, you received an email from me that included a link to the ebook template. So the first step is to open that email and click on the link, and this will bring you to the ebook template, which again, I created by using Google Slides. Now, if this is your first time using Google Slides, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. It's extremely easy to learn, and it's very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint. The great thing about it is that it's free to use. All right, so as you can see, when you click on the link, you can access the ebook template, but you can't make any edits to it. So in order for you to customize this template, you have to make and save a copy of this template to your Google account. And if you don't have a Google account, don't worry, it's free, and I've included a link that will walk you through the entire sign-up process. And again, I highly recommend signing up because Google offers so many free tools and resources that are extremely useful for bloggers. All right, so back to the ebook template, and I'm gonna sign in to one of my Google accounts so that you can see how this process will look on your end. So once you have your Google account, go ahead and sign in. In the upper right-hand side of the screen, just click the sign in link, and this is just the same process as signing in for like your Gmail account. And once you're signed in, the next thing you need to do is make a copy of the template. And remember, the only way you can start customizing this template is if you make and save a copy of the template. So in the upper left-hand side of the screen, click on File. And then from that drop-down, click Make a Copy. And then as you can see, you have the ability to rename the file and save it to a specific folder. Right now, this is saving on my Google Drive. And Google Drive is free 15 gigabytes of storage that you receive with your Google account. So go ahead and leave it as is and click OK. And now you have the ability to make this template your own. You can update the content, you can change the colors, you can delete and add pages if you want. You literally have the freedom to do whatever you want. But I created this template to save you some time on designing the ebook so that you could just swap out the content and start building your email list with it. So as you can see, we're just playing around here, but you can change the titles, my ebook, yay. You can change the colors, you can get rid of the cover image if you want. You can literally change every single aspect of the design of this template. But I, I don't really recommend doing that because it defeats the purpose of the template, but I just wanted to illustrate how much freedom you have with this template and how easy it is to change things around. All right, so once you've finished editing and customizing this template, I recommend that you turn it into a PDF. This way your ebook can be easily distributed and consumed by your audience. And this is the way that I distribute the blog starter kit and it's a highly effective strategy for building your email list. All right, so to convert this to a PDF, simply click on File on the upper left-hand side of the screen and then Download As, and then select PDF Document. And once it's done downloading, you can see that you now have a sleek and innovative ebook that's ready to help you build your email list. Now, in order for you to efficiently distribute this to your audience, I recommend that you host the ebook on your Google Drive and then create a shareable link for the ebook. This will make it easy for you to distribute the ebook to your audience, and by hosting it on Google Drive, you'll be saving valuable space on your WordPress blog. All right, so if you're new to Google Drive, it's simply a cloud environment that gives you 15 gigabytes of free Google online storage. So you can keep photos, designs, drawings, videos, recordings, and eBooks all on their drive. So it's a great tool, and like I said, it's extremely helpful to bloggers, and plus, it's free. 
So to access your drive, you'll need a Google account. And once you have an account, go to www.google.com forward slash drive and click on go to Google Drive. And we're in. Now I'm using my test Google account. So the files look a little bit unorganized, but this is basically what your dashboard will look like. Now, what we're going to do is upload the PDF that we just made so that we could save it to our Google Drive and then create a shareable link so that all your audience has to do is click on that link to access your ebook. So, in the upper left hand side of the screen, click on the new button and then click on file upload. Then find the PDF that we just downloaded. And there we go, the ebook is now saved and hosted on our Google Drive. Finally, we wanna create a shareable link. And again, this is the link that you're gonna to use to give people access to your lead magnet. So whenever someone signs up for your email list and they're expecting your ebook, you can send them this link that we're about to create and it'll give them access to your lead magnet, which is the PDF. All right, so in order to create this link, simply find the file in your Google Drive, which is the PDF that we just saved, and right click on it. Then from there, select Get Shareable Link. And next you'll see a pop-up window that displays the link, but before you do anything, I wanna point a few things out. First, make sure that you have link sharing on. Now this is typically a default setting, but you can tell by the little green icon on the right-hand side of that pop-up window. That means that the link sharing setting is on and that you can create a shareable link. Then make sure that it's set so that anyone with the link can only view the PDF and not edit it. That's very important. You don't want people changing your lead magnet around. All right, let's test it out real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link and then paste it in the browser. And voila, the link works and now you can easily distribute your ebook and start growing your email list. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. As always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.